Hey, welcome to Destructive Creativity. I'm Jonathan Allers. Today we are going over the safety tips and tricks with hydrochloric acid. And yeah, I'm going to be testing it out on myself. I'm going to be getting some on my skin on purpose so that you know what to expect should the worst happen. Ooh, hydrochloric acid. How do I get some? Is it fun? Yes, it is. Mmm. No, this is not hydrochloric acid. This is water. Having hydrochloric acid open inside of a studio with no windows and almost no ventilation is a bad idea. So don't do that. But what you can do is you can safely handle hydrochloric acid if you take the proper precautions. Having hydrochloric acid on hand is a lot of fun. And if you're into chemistry, you will probably get to the time when you have hydrochloric acid right in front of you and you want to play with it. So let's go over exactly what you can do and what you can't do with hydrochloric acid. But first, this channel exists for you, for fun, and for science. So, you know, hit the subscribe button if you like any of those things. Yourself included, I guess. So you're just there, you're mixing up a nice batch of copper carbonate, and suddenly it splashes and gets on your skin. What do you do? Do you go to the hospital? Do you lick it? No, don't lick it. You just rinse it with water, you dilute it. That's it, but I'm gonna show you exactly what happens so you can be prepared. Do as I say, not as I do, and don't be dumb. So, one thing that you do not want to play around with is getting this acid in your eyes because that will make you go instantly blind. So, <laughs> put on your glasses, not just glasses. You need the side shields, you need goggles. This is sufficient. The vapors that hydrochloric acid gives off also are bad if they get in your eyes. If you like lean way in and give it a good old sniff, which you should not do, and you get those vapors in your eyes, you really need an eye wash station and you should rinse out your eye as much as you can. And if the irritation persists, go get it checked out. But it's not just gonna jump out and into your eyes, so just be careful, take the proper precautions, and you'll be fine. As an extra level of safety, I am going to mix up a bowl with a bunch of baking soda in it, sodium bicarbonate, which will neutralize the acid. If the worst case scenario and it gets on my skin and it goes way farther than what I know it's going to do, I can just neutralize it, which is fine. It's good to have this on hand when working with strong acids. Now, before I actually pour anything directly onto my skin, let me show you exactly what hydrochloric acid can do. So I've got some hydrochloric acid here and I've got some aluminum foil. So aluminum being a metal is typically more durable and tougher than your skin. But watch what happens when we mix them together. This takes, this reaction takes a little bit of time to actually get going, but when it does, it's worth the wait. So let's just watch that. We'll speed it up here a little bit. And there it goes. Hokey smokes. Okay, that's impressive. That's awesome. <laughs> wow. So what's happening is the aluminum and the hydrochloric acid are reacting to create aqueous aluminum chloride and hydrogen gas, and a lot of hydrogen gas. As you can see, it's just going at it. Let her buck, eh? Totally, eh? Wow, that's cool. Wow. So safety-wise, this isn't the best because you should never really let uh, solutions like this bubble over because then you can't control where everything goes. But in this case, it's for fun and I, I'm gonna clean everything up really well, don't worry. Cool. Okay, so what am I gonna do for myself when I get it onto my skin? Well, we've already gone through the safety precautions if I have water ready to rinse it off, and I have the sodium bicarbonate ready to neutralize the acid. But what I'm going to be doing is I've sectioned my arm off into a couple of different components. So this first section, I'm gonna try and keep it all as best I can into their own separate sections, but it might be a bit of overlap. This first section, I'm going to just get some acid on my skin and rinse it off immediately. The second one, I'm going to leave it on for 10 seconds, then I'll rinse it off. And then this last one, I'm going to just keep it on until I feel pain, and then I'll rinse it off and we will compare the overall effects. So I've got my hydrochloric acid in a bag, it's double sealed. 
just to prevent things from rusting around the shop. We are doing this outside for ventilation. That's probably more than we'll need, but that's okay. I'm just gonna go ahead and reseal this up so that we don't have to worry about an extra hazard. I am gonna take off my protective jacket because that's what the purpose of this video is. We have our basic water, their sodium bicarbonate, that will neutralize the acid. I'm gonna take off any jewelry so that nothing gets stuck on my skin. First one. So first section, I'm gonna pour the acid on. And I'm gonna rinse it off immediately. There we go. So it's a little bit warm. Rinsed it off. And now the acid is neutralized. So it was a little bit warm. That's it. There's zero other effect. We're gonna try this again. I'm gonna pour on this, the hydrochloric acid and I'm gonna set the timer for 10 seconds. And we'll just let it go there for 10 seconds. Rinse it off, neutralize it. We'll be good to go there too. And I'll let you know what's feeling. Okay, so that's one. Starting the timer. It's a little bit warm. I can feel it tingling just a little bit. Nothing much, I'm gonna rinse it off now. And I'm gonna neutralize it with this stuff here. I could feel that tingling just a little bit, but again, I left it on there for 10 full seconds and really nothing happened. There's no red marks, there's no lasting pain or tingling. There's nothing. So now I'm gonna show you exactly how long you can leave it on before you start to feel any adverse effects. Again, I know that this isn't gonna do any permanent damage because it's a single time. I'm gonna rinse it off and I'm gonna neutralize it instantly. So with that in mind, probably shouldn't do this, but I'll do it for you. I have the stopwatch set up, so I'm gonna keep track of exactly how long it takes before I feel any pain. And as soon as I actually feel pain, yeah, I'm not gonna leave it on. I'm gonna pour, I'm gonna rinse it off and I'm gonna neutralize the acid and that'll be it. All right, let's try this. So we have our stopwatch ready. I'm pouring on the acid right now. And start the timer. I'll add about three seconds. You can feel it tingling. So it feels a little bit warm. So it's past 10 seconds. I can definitely feel it tingling. It feels kind of like uh, somebody's poking me with a toothpick right now at 20 seconds. Leaving it on. Yeah, the tingling is a little bit more intense. And I can still feel it. It's at 40 seconds now. I'm starting to feel a little bit of pain and it's slowly, gradually intensifying. So I think right about there, I'll call it. It's about 50 seconds. I'm gonna rinse that off right there. And I'm gonna neutralize it with some of this good stuff here. I had hydrochloric acid on my skin for 50 seconds. And yeah, it might be a little bit red, but overall, there's no effect. Well, that was a lot of fun. I hope this was useful to you. We have new content coming out every single week. Check it out. I've got a bunch of videos on here anyways. So yeah, feel free to subscribe. See you later. I'm Jonathan Allers with Destructive Creativity. Wearing a green shirt and a green screen. Huh. Yeah. <laughs>